Hey, in this video, I read to you from a passage from a book that will change your life if you actually apply the information. Listen to the end, read along the way so that you can actually think of the things that you will apply in your life, how you can apply this in your life. Ask yourself this, listen to it, and I really believe it will serve you because if you control your behavior, you can control your success and your results. If you don't know me, my name is Vali Sako. I used to be the personal trainer of a guy that was making 300k a month. We ended up going in business together. I learned a lot and now I document my journey here. I document what I learned to help you also become truly free and successful. So if you want that, I suggest you subscribe and I'll let you with the video. If you want to succeed, you gotta watch this video. Like really, you, there's a few, very few things that you can do to actually change what you do. Because your actions are going to dictate your results and if your actions don't change, nothing is going to change. And this is how you're going to change your actions. I'm going to read you a passage from this book and you're going to get really clear on the picture that you what you got to do. So reference level. Action comes about if and only if we find a discrepancy between what we are experiencing and what we want to experience. It's going to get clear, all right? Just listen to the end of the video. At the heart of every perceptual control system is a reference level. A range of perception that indicates the system is under control. When a perception is within the system's reference level, nothing happens. When the perception is violating the reference level by being too high or too low, the system will act to bring the perception back under control. There are three kinds of reference level. Set points, ranges and errors. A set point is a minimum or maximum value. The thermostat is an example of a set point. Whenever the temperature falls below a certain value, the heater kicks on. Your body's production of melatonin is another set point. Once it reaches a particular threshold, you'll start falling asleep. Business financial controls are managed as set points. As long as your revenue is above a certain point, set point, and your expenses are below a certain set point, you're okay. If you suddenly spend three times what you normally spend or your revenue falls below your point of sufficiency, that triggers action. You want to find out why you overspent or how to bring your expenses back under control. A range is a spread of acceptable values. The difference between a range and a set point is the existence of an upper and lower limit to the perception of being controlled. With a set point, the perception must be above or below a certain level to be under control. With a range, the perception must be between two sets points to be under control. For example, your body has a system for regulating the level of glucose in your blood, which it uses for energy. Too much or too little blood glucose can be life-threatening, so your body works to keep the level within an acceptable range by releasing insulin, which causes extra glucose to move into or out of the cells in your body. As long as your blood glucose is within an, the acceptable range, nothing happens. Where the reference range is violated, your body starts working to bring the situation back under control. An error is a set point defined as zero. Any perception that's not zero is out of control. Think of the pain receptors in your skin. Most of the time they do nothing, which means everything is under control. If you cut or burn yourself, however, the receptors send a signal that something is wrong and you'll act to remedy the situation. Customer service completes our business example. If you don't receive any, everything is under control. If your box, if your inbox is filling with complaints, you know something needs to be fixed. If you want to change a behavior, you must either change the system's reference level or change the environment in which the system is operating. Think back to the thermostat. If you want to turn the heater off, you can change the set point to a lower temperature. If you are aware that your expenses will be three times what they were last month because you're launching a huge marketing campaign, your finances are no longer out of control. If you're in the process of getting a tattoo, pain receptors firing is an acceptable situation. The perceptions themselves haven't changed, but you'll no longer act to bring the perception under control because it's, it already is under control. Changing the reference level changes the behavior of the system. Changing the reference level changes the behavior of the system. That's very, very important. Consciously defining and redefining reference levels can help you change your behavior. 
If you're worried that your spending is out of control, you can create a budget that will give you information on what your target monthly revenue needs to be in order to stay sufficient. If you're worried that your weight is too high or low, a visit to your doctor can help you calibrate your expectations and self-perception against medical data. If you're, cons if you're constantly working 12 hours a day and you decide that no more than 8 is acceptable, your work habits will change. Change the reference level and your behavior will change automatically. Now, if you like this, this is a passage from the book, The Personal MBA, great book, if you want to start a business, but this passage is really important. You got to change your reference level. If you don't change this, it's going to be much harder to change what you do. And if you want to succeed, you got to change what you do because you're not already successful. If you like this video, like and subscribe.